Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today we're going to do a Dollar Tree haul or a dollar twenty-five dollar tree haul. Like that whole thing is like messing me up. It's my like, oh I only got 20 things. I'm gonna pay twenty dollars. No, I got thirty something things. No, I didn't even get thirty things. I don't even know how many things I got because I paid thirty-two dollars. <laughs> I don't even know the math anymore. We have some fun stuff today. So make sure you subscribe and click on that bell so you can come back for more videos because I just do daily stuff in general, but I always like to show you how I find good deals and how we prep for travel and birthdays and some miscellaneous stuff, which is exactly what categories we're going to talk about today. So hurry and click that bell and subscribe and then come right back and we will go through all three of these categories of the things that I got. And yes, I'll add up how many things I got because it's a lot. Eight. 28 things. It's a lot. So we're gonna go fast. Hopefully you can keep up, but I, I think you like to like just kind of get to the point, right? We're just gonna move through this. What one do we start with? Let's start with miscellaneous because the birthday stuff and the travel stuff is a little bit more fun. So we'll end with that. So miscellaneous stuff. I don't know if you guys are the same. I never have scissors. I like, I don't know where they go. They open go in the kitchen, then they get goo on them. So I say that's where that scissor has to stay. But then that scissor disappears. My office scissors disappear because they go into the kitchen to open the go -Gurts. I'm hiding these. I am hiding them. They don't exist. No one needs to know about them but me. The next two things that I got are some drop cloths. If you are part of our regular daily vlog life, you'll know that we have a hole in the wall right behind me. It was an accident, it was a friend. She fell down the stairs and put a hole in our wall. Let me show you really quick. It's right there on that wall. You can't actually see the hole in the wall, but you can see the little mark. The problem is that we need to fix that and then paint that wall, but that wall goes all the way to the second story and all the way across, there's no hard line, goes all the way across here into the living room and it's a soft corner so it goes clear over into the kitchen. That means when we get back from vacation, we have a very large paint job to do. Yeah, the hole in the wall is not even the biggest problem. So I got some drop cloths to put down. We have a lot of stairs to cover. We're up high, I don't want anything to drip down onto the carpet down below, even though I wanna repair and fix and de demolish the carpet. I want to. I want it gone. No budget for that, because I'd rather go to Hawaii. Just being real with you. A dollar for drop cloths is better than ruining my sheets, my old sheets. That's what I used before, and now they're all ruined, so we're gonna just use these. Okay, next up, if you, again, you need to just subscribe so you understand why I like this kind of stuff. I like notebooks, I like lists, and I like to decorate them. I mean, I had to get two because the last page has letters on it, and you know I'm gonna wanna make sure I can spell Hawaii or Aloha a couple different times. So, these are super cute. I mean, come on. I still have pages to do for our lists for our trip to Hawaii. Again, if you're new, we're going to Hawaii soon. I just think these are so cute. Look at the second page. Look how many are on there. And then the third page, oh, that's just the letters. But, got two of those. Okay, that is it for the miscellaneous category. We're gonna move on to birthday stuff. Again, if you're new, we have four daughters and three of them have April birthdays. Two of which are days before our vacation. Days. And one of them is days after our vacation. It's a very heavy month in terms of scheduling and getting things done. So I plan things well in advance. Like now, two of these things, they're birthday gifts. I don't think my girl's friends are gonna watch a Dollar Tree haul, so I'm I'm not gonna draw attention to this video with my kids. I don't think they're gonna notice. So if my kids' friends are watching, be quiet. Little uh, pop it, what do you call these? Well, these are like the generic brand, but the little pop it bracelet for a certain someone. They keep those ones up front. I told them last time I was there, I'm like, these pop it kind of stuff, all these fidget toys need to be by the front register. And I go to this Dollar Tree it's like 20 minutes out of my way because it's better than the one that's five minutes out of my way. If you have a good Dollar Tree, you know, you know. Okay, so I didn't get all the numbers that I needed because I already have some. So we have one of them turning 12, but I already have the one. One of them turning 17, but again, I already have the one. And they're all so close to each other that I can still use that one. Oh, no, I have the one. I have the one for 12 and 17 
but I have the nine. So I don't wanna give away what the themes are for two of the birthdays, two of the three. One, because the, the last one hasn't completely defined what her theme is going to be for her birthday. Kind of have a general idea. I'm just making sure that she wants to stick with it before I order the balloons online. We're not gonna do a huge elaborate thing for, for all of these birthdays because we have this huge trip planned, but the first birthday can coordinate with the second birthday. And so I'm trying to make sure that those ones match up color-wise, even though the theme doesn't match up. All I'm gonna say is I'm gonna need to hang things from the ceiling. So I got these generic command hooks. I got nine of them, because I need a lot of things to hang from my ceiling, and I need that to go well, and I need it to come off, because my husband doesn't like things hung from the wall. Say that. Then the last thing for the birthdays, my 17-year-old didn't want like a super duper theme, wanted it to be kind of generic, and I have a white color theme going for the first birthday. This one is my second birthday. I did white and black gold for the 17 year old's birthday. So I thought these were kind of cute with that. And then the size of these bags. I love Dollar Tree bags. They're so good. They're so sturdy. And this one, they're just so good. I'll show you the size of this black one. Just really cute. I like it. The inner has like a little teal color around the edge. Now we're gonna talk about our travel. If you are new, we love to travel. And it is no secret that I love Hawaii. None of this is Hawaii style. I'm just gonna say that, but it is travel related. Toothpaste. We, I got the bigger ones. These aren't the little teeny tiny travel ones. We're gonna be there for 10 days and there's six of us. We need a lot of toothpaste to get through that time and the little tubes never make it all the way. So I got your ones, but I don't want to have to worry about whether it's a travel bag or in a carry-on bag. I made sure that they're small enough that I can still do either bag. Then I always take a bar of soap. I love Dove for my face and my body. I just take this with me and then if it's not used up all the way, I just toss it because I don't like hotel soap. It makes you dry. I just don't like it. So I always take one of these and I think my daughter just has a face wash that she's gonna use and then they'll use hotel soap. They don't care, but I do. All right, then the next thing I'm going to take with us is a little roll of Tums. Ashley, she's still having some problems with her belly. We're getting her some extra help starting next week, but I'm just gonna have her take these little Tums in her travel bag and make sure she doesn't have an upset stomach or she gets a little bit of, in, of like acid reflux not too much anymore. She has some medicine for that, but this did help her the other day and I wanted her to have this on the plane and as we're driving around in the car and whatnot in case she doesn't feel so good. If you have ever traveled with children, you know the ticket to their heart to get through the plane without any problems is candy. <laughs> We just bribe our children with candy and screen time. All you want, the whole flight. We do make sure that they eat a meal, which we will get one on the on the flight. But you know what, why bother? And it's to the point now where we don't even sit by our children. My husband and I can sit by ourselves and we can see the kids that are across the way, but they sit by themselves. Just bribe them with candy, more candy and more candy. <laughs> Dum-dums and lollipops help a ton with air pressure going up and down. And we are flying to Maui first and then doing an island hopper over to the big island. So there's there's a little bit of up and down and I just wanted to make sure we had some lollipops for them to suck on to make sure that their ears are popping and there's bubble gum. So that will also help if the sucker is gone before we actually land. All right, the next things I'm going to sneak into my daughter's backpack for her plane bag. I hope I can sneak it into her bag. I kind of want it to be a mini birthday. We're having to do part of her birthday stuff before we go on this trip and then the rest of it when we get back because half of it has to do with Hawaii slash summer weather. So she kind of has to get it ahead of time, which she agreed, that's fine. I would rather get it and have it and be able to use it. Again, she loves to draw and I got these little sketchbooks and teach her how to draw and this one is calligraphy but I wanted her to be able to use it on the plane and they're only a dollar. So I'm gonna sneak this into her travel bag morning of and then she can kind of open that up when we get to the plane and have a fun surprise. I might do the beginner one for my youngest daughter and then these two for my almost 12 year old. But she's getting really good at drawing and doing letter writing and so I wanted to kind of amplify and give her that encouragement to keep going with that. Okay, the last thing, and I know this is like not even that big a deal, glow sticks, but my girls love to swim in the pool at night. And I drew, walked by this like three times and I was looking for the pool toys, which we've already gotten some rings. And I think I have some other little like diving octopus 
thingies that like are squid. They're little squids and they like <laughs> down into the water. But I was like, I can use these at night. And they can just toss these into the water and then they can like dive down and find them because they're glow in the dark. And I just thought that would be something fun to do. Um, they don't last very long. So one of the first couple nights we can pull these out. Or if they're bored by the end of the trip, we can like pull this out and kind of find something new to do. Uh, anyway, I just thought that was kind of fun. There's eight bracelets in this pack. And if they like this idea, I might grab some more so we could have them on multiple times, multiple nights. But I just thought that would be kind of fun to do. 28 things, I did it. See, that was fun. Like that, there's a lot of stuff that we got, but I went thinking I was just going to find some fidget toys for my daughter because I saw in another video that they had new fidget stuff going on. I didn't find the one thing I wanted, but I did get this one. So I think I did, I mean, I did some damage. One versus 28 is a little bit more than I went in for, but that's what happens when you go to the dollar store. I hope you like this. Leave a comment below if you think of things that you think I need at the, that is from the dollar store for travel especially. Birthday stuff, I've kind of gotten that kind of stuff covered. Travel stuff, leave a comment down below if you can think of something that my kids would, might enjoy or something I might enjoy, um, and I will definitely go and get it, but I would love to know what your ideas are, maybe tricks that you have done along the way with your kids. I am open to new ideas, 100%. My kids are good travelers, but they always like something new and exciting. So thank you for watching this video, and take care, and come back for more, because as you can kind of see, all of these things have a story, because because they feed into our regular life. So if you are interested in our regular life, come join our vlogs and be a part of our adventure over there. So take care and see you guys next time. And my receipt got me 173 points on my fetch. And I'm 400 points. I thought it was, no, I'm 5,000 points. I thought I was 400 points away from getting my $20 Amazon gift card, 5,000 points. So guess what? If you want me to get my new purse, go ahead and click the link below with my referral for fetch and it gives me 4,000 points. <laughs> and you get 4,000 points to start. So go start fetch just for me. Even if you're not gonna upload receipts and get yourself free, free things on Amazon, go do it for me because I like free things. And I need half of my purse paid for or Jason's not gonna let me have it. So I'm just saying, come help a girl out, please. <laughs>